American frontiersman and fur trapper Hugh Glass became a folk hero after defying death several times. You probably know him from DiCaprio's depiction of him in the film The Revenant. Hulk! Hulk! The story goes, in 1823, Glass joined a fur trading expedition that departed from St. Louis. Months into the expedition, near South Dakota, Glass was brutally attacked by a grizzly bear. Legend holds that Glass managed to kill the bear, but only after suffering a broken leg, ripped scalp, punctured throat, and numerous deep gashes. The other expeditioners determined he was mortally wounded and left two men to stay with him until he died. A few days later, the two men placed Glass in a shallow grave, took his weapons, and left to join the larger group. Death did not become Glass, however. Upon gaining consciousness after he had been abandoned, Glass set his broken leg, wrapped himself in the bear hide he had been buried with, and even put maggots in his wounds to prevent gangrene. For two months, he traveled over 200 miles to the Missouri River. His journey started out with him crawling, with most nourishment coming from insects and berries. Once he reached the Cheyenne River, he built a small raft and floated downstream. Some legends contain details that Glass stitched his own wounds together with the skin of the bear he killed, while others say that he happened to come across a friendly bunch of Native Americans that he stayed with until he was healed. There are also mentions of him coming across a wolf pack and other hostile travelers. Eventually, he reached Fort Kiowa in mid-October 1823. Glass naturally desired revenge and set out from Fort Kiowa to find the two men who had deserted him. During his journey, he survived multiple Native American attacks and had a harsh winter. It wasn't until a year later, in 1824, that Glass finally encountered the men who had left him for dead. Unlike the film's depiction, Glass actually forgave the two men. In the film, Glass seeks payback since the men who left him for dead also killed his son. However, there is no proof that Glass had children, or even a Pawnee love interest. Audiences can rest assured, however, that the violence depicted in The Revenant is historically accurate. Hugh Glass has become such a legend that it is difficult to distinguish between embellishments and fact. It is believed by some that in the early years before the bear attack, Glass was kidnapped by pirates and forced to live as one of them. Another account says after he escaped them, he was captured by a Pawnee tribe. Regardless of any discrepancies, the true Hugh Glass was a man of true grit who bravely faced impossible conditions that would have claimed any lesser man.